Welcome to another iSCAF tutorial. Today we will demonstrate how to create a surface mesh within iSCAF. This allows iSCAF to adapt to a 3D sloping ground surface. Here we have the iSCAF setup. You will notice the top lift has a height of 8 meters featuring two platforms. There are also two cantilever or side brackets at the very top. We have designed a rectangular shape using the standard draw line or draw perimeter commands. Slope tags have been placed at strategic positions. These tag positions are symmetrical on the left and right. The surface mesh is 3D, which can affect both the inside and outside legs of the scaffold. There is a scaffold slope tag near this corner, marked as zero followed by another slope tag at zero as well. There are two ways we can edit the tag. We can use the Edit Plan option and select the tag to check heights. Or we could select Slope on the ribbon and edit. Here the height is set to zero, so the first two tags go from zero to zero. The next tag will show a step up, elevating to 4 metres, and the final tag on the right also stays at 4 metres. So we have a foundation laid so that these heights are the same on the other side so that it is symmetrical. This is the basis of our surface mesh. From here we can use the iSCAF ribbon. Go to the slope panel on the ribbon, then select Plan Surface. Once created, the surface mesh can be viewed in 3D. Let's perform some rotation here to look at the mesh. The next important step is to link the surface mesh to the scaffold so iSCAF recognises that they are attached. To do this, go to the sixth icon in the sloping ground panel on the ribbon and select Attach Slope. This action initialises the attachment process. A prompt will appear at the bottom of the screen asking to select the slope to attach. Click on the surface mesh that we created. We will then be prompted to select objects and at the bottom you can see a prompt message select the base to attach the slope to. We want the entire run of scaffold to be attached to the mesh. To do this, select all the bays, left click, left click, and then right click to finish. The attachment is complete, so let's change the view and take a look by rotating. Let's build 3D. Now we have the 3D scaffolding in iSCAF. Observe how the scaffold's inside leg adheres to the surface mesh, elevating to 4 metres, while the outside leg remains at ground level on the mesh. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial showing a surface mesh acting as ground conditions in iSCAF.